So in the last video, I talked about not really trying to pull the game towards yourself, but letting it flow naturally, which is a really important thing to follow. So in this video, this one's really important about just pretty much like falling in love with the game, like not playing it for, for anything else but the love of it, for a basketball example. So this one is pretty much that the game rewards the player who doesn't need a reward other than the game itself. All right, so let's say if you play basketball, not for the love of it, like for the love of actually the act of playing the sport itself. If you play for like, maybe you want to get a scholarship, you want to get money or you want to impress someone, right? If you're not playing for the act, the love of the game, the game is not going to reward you and you're not going to get as far as you want, right? So the reason you started playing your sport or whatever you do is because you have a passion for it, because you love it, right? So when, you're, when you love it, when you grow up, you start to like change your ambitions. You start to play for other stuff, maybe for money or for scholarships or whatever. But like, that's not good. It's not going to, the game isn't going to reward you. You're not going to get to the, that high level. You have to always connect to the deep level of the game. So one thing, one technique you can use to follow this is just simply like following, falling in love with the little things. Like just whenever the ball bounces, like hearing the ball bounce, embracing, you know, loving the, the sound of it. You know, when you, when you switch a shot, really loving the sound of it, craving it. It's loving these tiny little details when you're putting the sport will really allow you to love the game again and really connect to that love. Why you started playing in the first place. Another good option could be like, sometimes if you feel like you're training too hard with the sport or you just, you feel like you're starting to lose the love of the game and you're not, you feel like whenever you try to pull, it just keeps going away from you. One thing you can do is just simply take a break from the sport. Just like take a break. You can't do anything related to it because the best relationships are ones that when you go away, you can easily bond back together. So like when you detach from the sport of basketball, as an example, you will you will crave it a lot. So when you come back to it, you will re-love the game. You will have a new understanding and foundation for the love of the game. Right? Because imagine you've been away from something for so long, you miss it. So when you come back to it, you'll love it and miss it again, right? So that, that's gonna that's a way to replenish your love for the game. If you start to lose that love, that that real reason why you started playing in the first place, right? So it's always real. It's always important to connect to that love of the game in the first place. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, um, share with your friends. Um, and yeah, also the feedback form you can fill out in the description. Um, so yeah, see you in the next one.